uh, in my last video, I kind of went over um, what I got for Christmas, or at least the pig things I got for Christmas. And I think I pretty much covered all of it. <laughs> really trying to rack my brain here to think of any other Christmas updates or surprises or things that happened that I might not have vlogged yet. I don't, I just can't think of anything else that's new. Okay, so I also got two macaws. few weeks of preparation um, so it was not some spontaneous unexpected Christmas arrival uh, pets of course should not be obtained that way and as you probably know I've been wanting my cause for a while I don't have any problem with people who get their animals from breeders or pet stores or anything else um, do your research make sure that they are reputable and taking good care of the animals but personally, uh, the majority of my animals have just always been adopted, rehomed, uh, strays, whatever the case may be. The dryer's probably really loud, I just thought of that. But I have a lot of laundry because it's Christmas time and that means I'm watching a lot of dogs. I've talked with a couple of individuals and um, obviously met a couple of birds. It just never quite worked out. I actually was looking for perches for sale when I came across this pair of macaws that happened to be like 10 minutes from me. I have ended up adding Frankie and Tuki to my bird family. Uh, if you want to meet my other birds, I have them in a lot of my other videos. But I have umbrella cockatoos, African gray parrot, and a kaique parrot. And now, yes, Tater. A ruby macaw, which is a scarlet macaw mixed with a green wing macaw and your classic blue and gold macaw. Uh, Frankie is a girl, she's the blue and gold, and Tukey is a boy, he is the ruby. Backstory, again, like all of the birds I've gotten, they've come from really loving owners uh, whose lives simply did not allow for them to continue caring for their bear birds in the way that they wanted to. So Frankie, she had always been handled and pretty social, the owner didn't have the kind of time that she wanted, um, and so eventually opted to get her a friend, which was Tuki. Tuki she got as a six month old, and he had been hand raised and was very sweet, but I think for the last little bit, and the reason why she decided, you know, it was best to find them a different home, uh, is because they just hadn't been getting much socializing. So they're both a little moody right now. Um, I think Tuki is kind of bird bonded at this point. He is going on, I want to say five now. Now, <laughs> to clarify, they lived a bird dream life otherwise. Uh, spared no expense in terms of their care, everything they could have ever wanted. Uh, food, toys, perches, aviary, K, everything was incredible. But they just weren't getting the human interaction. So going to probably be one of my biggest bird challenges. If you've seen my other birds, you know I'm not opposed to having an ornery bird, and I think that anyone who is considering getting a bird should prepare themselves for the possibility of having a grumpy one, especially if you're getting one on like a rehome situation. Bird ownership just happens to come with bird bites in most cases. It's gonna happen. Now they settle in, and then potentially down the road, um, I think I would like to put them in different cages, different houses even maybe, keep one over here and put one in the other house for a while. I don't know. I just wanna give them both the best chance to be happy and bond with us if they want to. Uh, I think Frankie definitely would like to. Uh, she's still a little bitey, <laughs> not, not great, but that's to be expected. It's only been, you know, what? like five days. <laughs> so Frankie is allowed to be out. Um, I've had her out for the last couple of days now. She doesn't 
leave the cage unless I ask her to, and then she will step up. She's been a sweet girl. She says several words and learns them very fast, as I'm discovering. You can't really tell, but he is humongous and absolutely gorgeous. I wish that he would turn around a little. Toop, toop. He turned. Uh, his colors are just incredible. But that beak is about the size of my hand, so we're going to go nice and slow. Oh, that was, that was rude. This one? Okay, so a peanut. Yeah, I'm gonna need to, uh, to really stock up on the mixed holiday nuts right now because they like the nuts uh, in the shell and it's kind of hard to find. And now I have lots of birds that love them. We went ahead and got her down. She's kind of hard to put back though, so every time I take her off her cage, I really have to commit. And I don't want her to dislike stepping off the cage because she knows she's going to be put right back on, so. Right? Yeah, we're working it out. Kissy, hello. Hello. Uh, she really likes trying to eat my clothes and my hair. And every once in a while, uh, snapping at me a little, just kind of a warning, letting me know she's not 100% sure she trusts me yet, and that's okay. I'm just staying very mindful of the way she's behaving, right? She's beautiful, look at this. It kind of gives you an idea, and Tuki is like twice this size, so big, beautiful birds and I cannot believe they live with me now. Best Christmas ever? Huh? huh? You looking at the tree? You looking at the tree? <laughs> She'll usually let me do that a couple times and she seems to enjoy it and then it's like she kind of remembers that we're not quite there and then she'll turn around and just fake snap so we don't push it right My Merry Macaw Christmas. <laughs> You're gonna be seeing a lot more of them, especially once they're nice and they like me and I'm not worried about them biting my ears and fingers off. Like you, you little biter.